Hey everybody, welcome to another week here at the Tolerin. It is a wonderful weather out today and it is Easter Saturday, so I am not going to have a lot of time this week to work on the house, but I will try to at least get the ceiling done in the kids play area and maybe even get to the ceiling in the master bedroom section. So then um, for next week, the only thing that would be left is the chandelier in the master bedroom. Um, I still obviously have to do the boxes afterwards, but I think that we will do that all together next week. Thomas is gonna come again and he's gonna run um, the last electrical wires to all the boxes that we are adding. So I think it's gonna be a nice uh, finish next week. So the first thing that we have to do here is we need to establish exactly how high we want to Put that flat part of the ceiling so that we can put lights in here. I think the easiest way to do that is I'm going to mount a little um, laser level over on the far side so that we can see kind of where it, uh, where it goes and if that would be not in the way for obviously the head and everything but still give us enough space to mount um, a can light. Now that we finished the ceiling here in the kids play area, we have to install some of the ceiling boxes.
Well, it looks like the ladder is not long enough, so I'll have to either buy or organize myself one from a friend. So that probably will have to wait until next week since it's pretty late already. So we'll see what else um, we can do. I have a few more of those hangers that I want to uh, put into the staircases because we'll have to have, obviously have to have light there too. We're gonna have it from top to bottom all on one circuit. So I'm just gonna hang those so that Thomas can connect them all next week. One of the things that we have to do here in the next couple of weeks is clean this area out, uh, the soffits there and then close up those areas with a wall on this side, along the wall, uh, <clears throat> along the soffit over here, and then closing out that wall space that is behind the hallway. So here in the bathroom, I just installed one can light because I think it's enough to illuminate the shower and toilet area at once. There might be a small little dark spot. Still be um, illuminated by a light that I still have to set the box over here next week above the actual sink. So I just finished here the closet in the closet. We are doing some track lighting so that we can, while we are getting dressed and looking for um, clothing, that we have enough lights um, at the different spots that we'll be probably shelving all the way around here for um, just uh, smaller things. And then over here on this side, there will be um, the large hanging pieces. So having enough light also for while you're getting dressed and maybe want to look in the mirror, um, so that's kind of why I put two boxes, one on each side of the wall, so that we can put track lighting and different uh, lighting styles up here. Here in the master bedroom area, we changed our mind in, instead of making a flat spot right there in the middle of the peak, which would make it a kind of weird transition over at the end over here where the fireplace and the peak comes together and it goes up into the open area. So we decided of just keeping it um, at the peak no um, flat area and we would just mount a ceiling box right there on the 45. Um, it still gives us the opportunity to install a ceiling fan if we ever want to above our bed but it would obviously uh, require us that we would um, use some piping that would be um, suited for a 45 degree angled ceiling but uh, most likely we will just have a decorative hanging light here above our bed. So like I said the ladder is a little too short so I won't be able to install the box up here in the center of the room. So I'll have to organize my, a long, myself a longer ladder, maybe a um, 25 foot instead of a 16 foot. So that way I can get up there and install a box. So we actually made a decision here instead of uh, same as in the bedroom section, um, instead of making a flat area, we're just gonna mount a ceiling box right there in this flat area and then if we want to hang the, uh, the chandelier all the way in the center of the room then what we would do is we would just put a hook all the way in the center and uh, let it hang down very similar to what we are doing downstairs in the main entry area. So here in the kids area you can see we are doing some canned lights. I had to install them both a little bit in an angle so I could um, mount the boxes in the center of the room uh, without or in the center of the peak of the flat areas so that's kind of why they are um, crooked in an angle that's just so that we can actually reach the center well like i said at the beginning of the video this is going to be a shorter video um, just because it's easter and i can only come here on saturday i have obligation on sunday easter sunday just to do so we won't be uh, back here and it is already six o'clock here um, on Saturday and I really need to go. So I think this is it for this week and I hope I see you guys, uh, see, see you guys all next time I turn on the camera. Bye.